Hi everybody, this is Greg Fox, the keyboardist, creator, and composer for the Renaissance Rock Orchestra. Thanks for being here. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button down below so you can come back and watch all the videos that we release every Tuesday morning and every Friday morning. So thanks for coming back again. In one of the videos that I did a couple weeks back, I got a lot of compliments on my jacket, a lot of comments on my coat. So I decided to wear another one for you. So I hope you like this one that I'm wearing today too. I have a lot of fancy jackets. A lot of my friends love to just come over and, and look at all the coats in my closet because they're going, wow, that's awesome. Wow, that's awesome. So uh, looking forward to wearing some of those at some of the upcoming Renaissance Rock Orchestra shows we have coming up live here in Las, Las Vegas. So hopefully you can come to Las Vegas and see a Renaissance Rock Orchestra show soon. July 29th will be our first public show. So it's gonna be a big deal, a red carpet event with VIP meet and greets and VIP after party is gonna be a lot of fun. So make sure you come and see the show if you can, Thursday, July 29th, down on Fremont Street in Las Vegas. I hope to see you there, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Today what I wanna talk about is another song off the Renaissance Rock Orchestra release, A Song of Hope 2020. This is our newest release. I wrote and recorded this record, A Song of Hope 2020, during COVID. So a lot of it expresses a lot of things that we were all feeling during that time, the isolation, some of the tragedies and the fear and the unknown that was going on in all of our lives. I'm gonna to talk today about a song on the record called Circus Life. Now Circus Life is our second release off A of Song of Hope 2020. Make sure to go to Spotify, like, share, follow, do all the things that are on Spotify, please. And add our songs to your playlist. That really helps a lot on Spotify, so I'd really appreciate that. The third song off of Song of Hope is the second release that we released. It's called Circus Life. And it's a very fun song in a lot of ways. It uh, has a combination of some Queen sounds and some Super Tramp sounds. And it goes through a lot of different sections, which is really fun. It has a very introspective kind of verse with a kind of a killer Queen piano thing, the dun, 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 with this awesome moving bass line and string line that is very reminiscent of uh, Queen sounds. And then it goes into a very fun ragtime thing, kind of like Queen would do, kind of pick it up and make it a lot of fun. And then the chorus is very super trampish. Our videos for the song are very fun. You should check them out on YouTube for Circus Life because some of the lyrics uh, in verse two particularly are, are pretty fun. It, talks a lot about political unrest and how uh, the clowns have taken over the show. I'm walking on a tightrope. I see the lions and the tigers below. Yeah, so now I'm a little wiser, but broken still it seems. I'm living in a house of mirrors, so many bad reflections of me. Yes, I'm walking on On a circus life, I used uh, the core band that I used for the entire record. Something a little different than what we did on our last record in Times of Old, where we had 27 different rock stars and different singers, different drummers, different guitar players. So we had a core band on this that includes Brian Tishy on drums and Greg Smith from Alice Cooper and Ted Nugent on bass. We have Mark Bowles singing. Unbelievable the way he sounds on Circus Life. I was originally planning on having Michael James Romeo from Symphony X do the entire track on Circus Life, but things got a little crazy during COVID and he got so swamped doing a lot of film things and commercials, uh, trying to pay the bills, that he didn't have an opportunity to finish. So we do have rhythm tracks by Michael James Romeo and they sound awesome. I brought in Tony Allman from Juan Crucier's Rats and from Viola Sin, his original band, to do a solo section in Circus Life that is very unique. I had written out a very cool Brian Mayish kind of guitar solo, where you know, what Brian does on a lot of his solos, it gives that unique Queen sound and that guitar sound that he has with Queen, is he'll record individual notes and he, it allows for a completely different sound than guitars usually do and that most guitar players ever achieve by recording these harmonies, these three-part harmonies and sometimes even more than that, multi-tracked 
with 12, 24 layers of guitars, and Tony did that on uh, Circus Life. I had originally written a guitar solo idea for him, and he took that idea and kind of expounded on it and created this amazing thing, and it sounds so beautiful. I think you're going to love that. Thank you, Tony, for a brilliant, brilliant Brian May-like guitar solo. So that that's kind of the icing on the cake for Circus Life. So make sure you give it a listen. Go out and listen to it on Spotify. And uh, thanks for coming and watching our YouTube channel as always. And uh, rock on. And I hope to see you in Vegas, July 29th, Thursday, July 29th on Fremont Street, a club called Notoriety Live. Check out notorietylive.com. And very soon we'll have tickets available on our brand new website, which is our landing page, our splash page, just for live music, just for our live performances called rromusic.com. Spread the love, spread the music about Renaissance Rock Orchestra. Thank you guys. Bye -bye.